Hey, what's up all my freaking flyers? And uh, casual passer buyers. Again, like just walking out. I'm Dr. Darren, emergency room physician in rural America. Welcome to the video. Hope you enjoy it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually construct out of a bike inner tube, a popped one, a stethoscope cover. If you find this video educational or uplifting in any way, consider subscribing or share it with your friends. Dr. Darren. <laughs> cover has pretty significant meaning to me and it is actually a tire that I blew while riding with Iron Cowboy James Lawrence during his historic Concord 100 challenge so we need to back up 2010 I was accepted to Toro University in Nevada medical school congratulations it was an incredibly difficult time and as a way to help me focus on other people during this very self-centered time in my life, my wife and I started the FAST Foundation, which stands for Promoting Health and Service Together. Now, while I was setting up this triathlon, I was going to conferences and triathlon uh, meetings, and I was following magazine, and I came across on social media this guy named Iron Cowboy. Now, in 2012, the Iron Cowboy, James Lawrence, attempted to break the world record of 20 full distance Ironmans within one year. A triathlon is a three event sport, swimming, then biking, then running. There are various distances of these triathlons. There's a sprint, Olympic, half and full course. Now James Lawrence was doing the full course. That is 2.4 miles swim. Then if that doesn't kill you, you do a 112 mile bike ride. And if that doesn't give you the worst butt chafage of your life, then you run a full length marathon, 26.2 miles. And so most people, if they're crazy, they have on their life maybe one Ironman triathlon. He was gonna do 30 in a year. In 2012, he broke that record. Then when I graduated medical school, in the first month of my residency program, I had started this account on Periscope. And I actually started a session called the Duab Doctor on a Bike, where I actually live scoped my rides to the hospital before going to work. Oh, can anybody answer this question? Why do we have patients turn their head and cough? And during this time, I found James Lawrence competing in what he was calling 50-50-50. 50 Ironmans, 50 states in just 50 days. That's where this crazy guy, he decided to do 50 full length triathlons in 50 consecutive days in 50 different states. It would not only destroy his own world record, it would set the precedence of an unparalleled human feat in endurance training. That caught my attention. I was following this guy live in between patients. I was watching this and I was captivated by the absolute bonkers endurance and mental fortitude and craziness and creativity of this guy's event. Because you don't even realize 50 full triathlons in 50 straight days. That means no three months for recovery. I have done a half Ironman. And that was in beautiful Oceanside, California. I swam with seals with a wetsuit. I don't think I exercised for a full month and a half after doing that. Feeling that I had accomplished such a monumental physical feat that I had the right to take a month off. He wasn't even getting seven hours off between each of his events. He would literally finish his event, crash in his RV as they drove to the next state over. So you can understand why this captivated me. Netflix actually has a documentary and I'm gonna give you the link down below to watch that. And if you haven't, you should, please. Now, fast forward all those many years, I've continued to follow and keep tabs on him and the guy's mental 
toughness inspires me. It's unbelievable, and I love it. So, when he announced that he was going to do what he called the Conquer 100, I about lost my marbles. And when I found out that he wasn't traveling to 100 different states, that he was going to do it from his base home and do a, a variation of a route around Utah Lake, around Provo and Salt Lake area for 100 straight days. And that happened to be the same time when I was going to be visiting my parents for spring break with my kids. You better believe that I was going to make every single possible effort to do something with him. So we did. I texted my brother-in-law and my other brother-in-law and I said, hey, I got a crazy idea. We're gonna be down there in Utah for spring break. Let's go ride a portion of this. I thought, I honestly felt that this was so historic that this would go down in the endurance athlete history books and I wanted to be part of it somehow, some way. I was not in swimming shape. It was winter in the Midwest and there's not many options of swimming. I had still recovering from my marathon, uh, my one mile per hour marathon, link below to the world's hardest race. My heart's been ripped wide open. So many mixed emotions. It's like I finally noticed. I've been set free. I've been set free. I spent a lifetime running. Fearing what I'd become if I Stop playing goalie on all of my thoughts yeah. Speaking out straight from my heart But now I see But now I see Oh, I see this love is taking over Breaking through my chest and overflowing With every single beat it pulls me closer Closer to you which I have challenged the Iron Cowboy to compete in this 2021 fall. My knee is still recovering from that, so I didn't want to run low impact biking. So I said, let's join this biking. I didn't want to commit, nor probably could I have committed because of lack of training the full 100. But I said, I convinced my brother-in-law, hey, let's do like 20 miles. So we got everything together and we joined and we mapped him and we figured out where he was gonna be at the exact time where he was interacting with the social media manager, which was his daughter, where he would be, what he was time, and their team was phenomenal and they were communicating well and they had mapped everything, they had live Garmin feed and we showed up, <laughs> okay? Now during that time, Anywho, he showed up. We got our bikes ready. And then by the time he came around the corner, he was already gone. We had to load the bikes back up because we weren't fast enough, didn't get our helmets on, didn't get locked in. And we drove like three miles ahead, got off just in time as he was around the corner and joined in with him. And for the next 40 miles, we ended up doing with him because it was so amazing. I was inspired by the cadence, the camaraderie, the friendship, the amazing historical feat that I was participating in. I literally was geeking out. Now there was this one specific special time where he was, where he invited. Now we did this because he, there was an open invitation to come and participate, especially with the bike. He got a lot of motivation and a lot of help. Um, when other people around him were rooting him on. Now, usually there were three or four people ahead of him, three or four people behind him, and maybe a couple right next to him. And, but there was this one part where there was nobody riding next to the Iron Cowboy, the world record holder for most full-length triathlons in a year. And I was geeking out. And I'm a big, big believer in opportunity. Right? I believe that if opportunity doesn't knock, you go to his house and you kick down the door. If the door is steel reinforced, quadruple bolt the lock, you climb through a window. You make it happen. I saw my window. I sped up and 
got right next to him. I didn't want to bother him. I knew that he was focused. I knew that he was on day 33 of his 100. He had to be physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually exhausted to all extreme. And I didn't want to bother him with conversation. But I hoped that maybe he would say something to me. You know, something that I could write down in my journal. Something that I could tell my grandchildren that my the Michael Jordan of triathlons said to me. So I'm sitting there riding. I'm in my tuck and I'm riding. And he kind of tilts his head over to me like this. And he said, hey, how you doing? I was tripping. Straight up geeking out. I was like, no. Anyway, so I'm geeking out, right? And I'm already, heart's already going, who knows, 150 just because I'm already riding 20 miles an hour, which is 16 to 19 miles an hour was his pace for 100 freaking miles. Man is a machine. But then he says, hey, what's up, man? It probably went to 200. I was talking to someone that I idolized, someone that inspired me, someone that I've been following since 2012 during my medical years. And so I, I said, hey, yeah, I'm doing awesome, man. And I proceeded to say thank you for the opportunity to inviting us to, and then he did this motion. And it took me a second, but then I remembered a commercial, a Super Bowl commercial. So what are you doing tonight? Uh, nothing. Do you wanna to go to a party <laughs> with me? Yeah. And we could just go to my place before and hang out. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, hold on. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking. You about can't this. always be smooth, even when you're not. I'm really sorry about what just happened. No oh, that's cool. I feel embarrassed. Yeah. Just a second. Oh man. I straight up got double tapped by the Iron Cowboy. <laughs> And you know what? That is almost better than any motivational, inspirational, deep comma he could have made to me because that's gonna last with me forever. He was so focused. He was talking to someone else, probably his kid, maybe a manager, maybe someone who has had to do with a race, I don't know, but he straight up double tapped me. And I was so crushed and embarrassed, but also laughing internally that I faded into the background and continued to finish the rest of the 40 miles with him. I love it. All right. Anywho, about mile 33, we were riding along and all of a sudden it came, became very difficult to pedal and very wobbly. And when you notice that, you look down at the tires and I was rim on ground. I was about to go down. So I veered off, me and my two brother-in-laws and a friend that was riding got off. Now I was borrowing all their equipment. So they had everything they needed. And so they, we really quick got our tires changed and I kept the tire because I knew I wanted to keep it to make that stethoscope cover. As dorky as it was, it meant something to me. And I have no doubt, barring serious illness or injury, is he going to not make it. He is going to kill it. It is unbelievable and inspiring. Always one of my favorite quotes is the only difference between impossible and I'm possible is some spacing. This guy believes that, and I hope you believe that. I now have a tire cutter stethoscope. I have combined and booked in two significant parts of my life, okay? Healthy activities and service, biking and medicine. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that somehow you find some inspiration. Look this Iron Cowboy up, because he will inspire you because one of the things that I love about him that he says that everybody's difficult is different. And I truly believe that, that you can do whatever you want to, need to, or inspired to do. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be rocking my flat tire, bicycle, stethoscope cover. All right guys, gotta go. Knuckles. Noggin. Butterfly gooses. <gasps> Squid fingers.